Before you start your e-commerce business, you've got to figure out your shipping strategy. Shipping has a lot of moving parts and is a crucial part of many online businesses. In this video, we will take you through small business shipping considerations, different shipping carriers, how to reduce shipping costs, and more. Keep watching to learn more about shipping products and to ensure you choose the right shipping provider for your small business. Before you decide which shipping carrier to use for your small business, there are a few things you need to consider. You need to keep in mind how long it will take your package to be delivered, what packaging materials you will use, and what package dimensions and weight your package has. You will also need to consider your shipping destination, package tracking, and whether or not you will have perishable items that you will be shipping. Lastly, keep in mind how many orders you will have each month. Your shipping volume will play a role in choosing your shipping carrier as well. Once you know exactly what you need, you can make a decision on how to ship. In the next section, we will talk about the different carrier options and the services they offer. In the United States, you have three main shipping companies, USPS, FedEx, and UPS. All of these major carriers have shipping discounts and helpful features for small businesses. DHL is also a carrier that many businesses use to meet their shipping needs. After this rundown of each carrier, you will be able to choose the right shipping method for your small business. The first carrier is the United States Postal Service. The USPS is a default option for many U.S. small business owners. They offer a great deal of services that can help streamline your shipping process. You can head over to their website to see all of the services they offer using the link in the description. One service that USPS offers is Click and Ship. This is where you pay for the postage online and print your shipping labels at home. Then you can just drop off your package. They also offer free home pickup, which will save you a trip to the post office or even several trips. By combining the click and ship service with free home pickups, you can save a lot of time running back and forth from your home to the post office. Another perk from the USPS is you can get a free priority mail starter kit. All you have to do is go to their website and press the get a free shipping kit button. Then fill out a form and they will send you your kit. They also offer every door direct mail advertising, which allows you to market by mail to your target audience for free. This can help you spread the word about your business. You can also reserve a PO box. By setting up a PO box for business mail, you can keep your home address private. USPS also has the best rates for packages under five pounds. If your product is under five pounds, USPS will be the best option for you. The next carrier is FedEx. FedEx also has many perks that can help with your small business needs. We have put the link to their website in the description for easy access. FedEx has a reward system where the more you ship, the more rewards you earn. This is nice if you plan on solely shipping with FedEx. You can accumulate points to redeem on shipping materials and you also get access to shipping discounts as well. They also offer packaging help with materials on their website. You can also visit the Packaging Hub to learn more about topics such as how to ship unique items, how to create shipping labels, and how to create shipping strategies tailored to your own business. Like USPS, you can also schedule pickups which will save you a trip to the FedEx store. FedEx also offers postcard printing so that you can include custom postcards and coupons in your packages. This is a good way to personalize your items. FedEx also offers temperature control, which is great for perishable items. There are chilled and heated options for food, beverages, fresh flowers, and other items. FedEx is also typically faster than UPS or USPS and offers same-day delivery. If you need faster shipping time, FedEx is the right choice for you. The next carrier is UPS. UPS offers business discounts on more than just shipping for business owners. They also have UPS Connect, which provides free advice sessions for your business plan and shipping. They also make it easy to manage your shipping costs and payments. 
With UPS, you can also schedule pickups, which saves a great deal of time. They also offer larger shipping solutions with warehousing and fulfillment. This is beneficial if you're starting to grow your business. Lastly, they offer UPS returns. You can get a return label emailed to the customer and all they have to do is attach it to the package. Then they can either schedule a pickup or drop off the package to a UPS store or Dropbox. This makes returning products easy for your customers. UPS also has better rates for larger packages. If you plan on shipping large packages, UPS is probably the choice for you. DHL is the last carrier we will talk about. DHL is ideal for international shipping because it is cheaper than other carriers. They also have an expansive reach, which is helpful when shipping internationally. DHL has small business shipping options as well. Depending on your shipping volume and frequency, you can get better shipping rates for your business. Lastly, DHL also has full visibility tracking. If you plan on shipping internationally, DHL is most likely the choice for you. If none of these options look like they are going to fit your small business needs, you can always use Fulfillment by Amazon. Watch our How to Sell on Amazon video for more information about this. The link is in the description below. Besides choosing the right carrier for your needs, there are a few things you can do on your own to reduce shipping costs further. First off, you can use fewer boxes. Think about the number of boxes you use. If you can find any way to cut that number down, do it. For example, if you're putting items from the same order in different shipping boxes, consider combining the items into one shipping box. Avoid putting lots of boxes within boxes as well. You can also reuse boxes and packaging material. This is a great way to save money and it is also eco-friendly. When you shop for shipping materials, shop frugally. Try and always look for sales and bulk discounts. You should also streamline your box size. If you can get away with using the same box size for all or most of your items, you can save money by buying your boxes in bulk. Using flat rate boxes can also save you money by paying the same amount on each shipment. Negotiating your prices can also help save money. To start, develop a good relationship with an account manager at each carrier. Then, shop around and get quotes from each carrier. Use these quotes from competitors to cut a deal with the carrier of your choice. Chances are, if they are interested in getting your business, they will lower the price to match their competitors. Some businesses find that a multi-carrier approach can help save money. Services such as ShipStation can help you find the right combination of carriers to save you the most amount of money. This is an easy way to use multiple carriers without all the hassle. Along with saving money, you can mitigate many of the risks by using multiple carriers. If your go-to carrier lets you down, having a secondary carrier on hand makes it easier to switch before it becomes an emergency. We will now talk about offering free shipping. Who doesn't like free shipping? Since we don't all have billions of dollars sitting around, offering free shipping as a small business may be a challenge. It's not impossible though, and it is definitely something you should carefully consider. Some business owners pull it off by absorbing the shipping costs into their product pricing. People are more likely to spend the same amount or more on a product if the shipping is free than they are if it's tacked on at the end as a surprise. Surveys have shown that 73% of people are more likely to decide to buy an item if it includes free shipping. This is a good area to splurge on since it will boost sales, and you'll be saving money by following the tips that we previously discussed. If free shipping for all of your products isn't ideal, consider conditional free shipping. It has shown that 24% of consumers would spend more to qualify for free shipping. Shipping can be a hassle if you don't have all the information you need. Luckily, we have prepared you with the basics of how to ship as a small business. We hope this video helps make your shipping process as easy as it can be. Like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.